the second exercise. This second exercise called the dolphin is a standalone exercise for opening and flattening the groin fold. It lets you stand straighter. Watch once, then do the movements along with the spoken instruction. The dolphin working position, lying on your front, with your forehead resting on your stacked hands. Let's rehearse a couple of movement elements. The first movement element is pulling both knees into the surface to tighten your front hip flexors that causes your butt to rise and a space to form at the fronts of your hips. Do that now. Okay, do it a couple of times to get familiar and complete what you're doing. The next movement element is to press the tops of your feet down against the surface, applying pressure to the top of the foot that corresponds to the top side of where the pads of the ball of your feet are. Do that now. And again, and complete what you're doing. And now do both movements together. Very good. So in this action pattern, you pull your knees into the surface, cause your butt to rise, cause your groin to lift off, and hold that. And now lift your head slowly off your hands until you feel your back tightening. So now you connect the sensation at your groin to the sensation in your back. And the way you make that connection is by regulating the amount of effort so that they are identical in the two movements. Okay. Okay, so let's have you start again. And then in this movement, I want to remind you to let go completely between repetitions. So don't carry the effort of one repetition into the next. But let there be a period of rest in between. So we start with the legs, pulling the knees forward. Get the right and left hip flexors to feel the same. And then do a slow lift of the head. And lift until the amount of sensation in your back from lifting is the same as the amount of sensation in your hip flexors. That makes it possible to feel like they're connected to each other. Okay. Now leave your head up and let your hip flexors relax. Let your groin come down, let the knee pressure decrease. The sensation then goes all to your back, and you slowly lower your head to complete rest. Okay, when you come to complete rest, let your legs go so that you have to find that working position afresh. Okay, now find it afresh so that... You feel the ridge on the top of the foot that corresponds to the pad mm -hmm. that connects the big toe and its neighboring two toes. Make sure they, the feet feel the same, that you're feeling pressure on the same location on each foot. So once you've got working position, gradually pull the knees into the surface so that your groin lifts up. Feel your butt stick up. Feel your hip flexors. Equalize the left and right hip flexors. Okay. And then slowly lift your head and equalize the hip flexors with the back muscles. Okay. And now slowly relax the hip flexors. Let the pubic bone come down. And then you slowly lower your head, forehead onto your hands to complete rest. And you let your legs go. Again, find your leg working position. If you get a cramp in your feet like that, hitch up onto your toes, do that now, and roll your legs side to side. That will help you to dispel any cramp in your foot or calf. Okay. And again, finding your working position centered and symmetrical left to right. 
Bring your knees into the surface. Feel it in your hip flexors, match it left and right. And then lift your head and match the back effort to the groin effort. You're going to feel how the groin effort goes to the low back. You feel that? Yes. And then as you lift your head, you have the mid back and you connect the low back to the mid back. Yes. And then relax the leg action. Let the cubic bone come down. And let your forehead come down. And come to complete rest. And let your legs go. Now we're going to add a little something to this movement. And what we're going to add is when you come down, you then press your forehead against your hands and press your pubic bone into the surface. Try that now. Okay. So you can feel what that feels like. Do it two or three times as rehearsal. So push my pubic bone into the right there. Yes. And my head into the into my, my forehead into the my top hand. That's right. And you'll feel a pull that goes straight down the front of your trunk. If you're pressing your forehead, it'll actually flatten your back some, mm -hmm. and then come to rest. Okay, now feet to working position, knees pull forward, feel the hip flexors connect to the low back, lift your head, connect the hip flexors to the action of lifting your head. Relax the leg action. The pubic bone comes down. Your forehead comes down. You press your forehead against your hands and your pubic bone against the table and feel the connection between your head action and your pubic bone action. And then you relax. As soon as you've found the connection, you've done it. And then you begin again. Oh, let your legs go first. That's it. So you come to complete rest between repetitions. And when you're ready, resume the working position. Then you pull your knees into the surface. Your butt comes up. Equalize left and right hip flexors. Feel the connection to your low back, your inside. You lift your head. Equalize the groin to your back. Relax the leg action, your butt comes down, your head comes down, you press your head down, and rest. The self-relief program, Free Your Psoas, contains exercises that prepare you better for walking into the floor and for polishing the results. Click here to get a preview of the program. I'm Lawrence Gold.